Hi, my name is Joe. In this episode, we're going to talk about the PoE splitter. This is the PoE splitter. Usually, the PoE splitter doesn't work stand alone. It always involves in the PoE injector or PoE switch. Let's just take a while to go through the standard PoE network. In the PoE, we have the usually we have the PoE switch. It will send the power and data through the Ethernet cable. So, if your edge device like this IP camera, which supply support the PoE, there's nothing else. We just connect the cable to the camera and the other end to the switch the camera is going to get the power and the data there's no need to involve in the PoE splitter at all but if your device your equipment is quite special it doesn't have the PoE module built in in the case the PoE splitter can come in play you can see the PoE splitter has two Ethernet port one is the PoE port so we need to connect the cable to the PoE port we can connect this LAN port to edge device, so edge device can get the network data from the backend switch. This is the DC output, it's not the input it's output, it can supply the power, DC tell voltage power to supply your edge device. Here we got another version of PoE splitter, it's quite similar, only this is waterproof version. We got input, output, also the power. So we got a brief idea about the whole PoE system working with the PoE splitter. The the next thing is about the power budget. How much power we can get from the PoE splitter? It actually depends on the what kind of switch or injector you're using. For this one, the number one or number two can output 60 watt, but the power you got is about 50 watt. For this one, 90 watt PoE injector, it can output 90 watt power through this Ethernet cable, and the available power jet budget at the edge is about 72 watt. So you're thinking why the power is different. I mean, the output 90, but you just got 70, 72. The reason is because there are always power loss during the transmission. And the more high power, the more loss will be. And this is this is specification is just according to the IEEE BT specification. And as we you know, the cable is quite important, right? Because it determines how much power it's going to loss during the run. So which kind of cable we should pick? KFIE, K6, or K7? Actually, it doesn't matter what matter, just what make of your cable. You need to pick the cable which make of the pure copper, 100% copper, because the copper can reduce the power loss. That's very important. And now, there's still one more thing. It's, it's about the grounding. You see, we got the data travel through, we got the data and the power travel through this cable, and the, this is the copper cable. It may pick up the surge in the environment. I am not talking about the lighting hitting to the device. If the lighting just hit this device, it will damage melt this, this device directly. But it's not always happen, right? It's ought to happen. But the search is quite common in the environment. So the first, otherwise it's just grounding, grounding the PoE splitter. And here we also got the grounding spot. Also grounding your PoE switch or the grounding the PoE injector. So what is the maximum distance we could have between the PoE switch and the, this PoE splitter? If you need the data, I mean, you need the network data from the PoE switch, the maximum distance is about 300 feet. But if you just need the power, it could be longer, like 1,000 feet, it will be okay. This PoE splitter has a built-in regulator. As long as the voltage drops, still make the margin, it still can convert to a DC type voltage. And I think there's still one last question. Is it safety to use the PoE? The PoE system, don't worry, it's quite safe because before the before the PoE switch or PoE injector release the power, it will just send a small currency to verify and detect your edge device. It will make sure your edge device can take in the power. It will release the power. Otherwise, it will not release the power at all. All right, that's all for today's video. If you have any question, please post it in the comment section below. See you next time.